Hi guys, welcome to Yosanem. Today we are going to start a new topic which is rational numbers. I don't want to give all the information and solve questions in one long video and make it boring for you. So I divided the exam questions into four groups. In the first group, which is this video, there is going to be easy and basic rational number questions. The second group questions will be about continued fractions. The third one with decimal numbers. And the last video will be about recurring decimals and some other type of questions also. So let's begin. Rational numbers, a ratio number that can be written as the ratio of two integers. A ratio we could write like a fraction a over b and as long as b is not zero remember if b is zero then a over b is undefined yeah a ratio number could be 0 0.5 3 over 4 or 0 0.3 repeating 2 negative 5, negative 3 over 7, 0, and so on. They are rationals because I can write them as, for example, 0 0.5. It's 5 over 10, over 10, right? This is rational numbers because it has two integers. So let's look at this. 0 0.3 repeating. I'm going to write it 3 over 9. 2. 2 is 2 over 1. Negative 5 is also negative 5 over 1. And 0. 0 is 0 over 1. So as you can see, rational numbers include whole numbers, integers, decimal numbers, and repeating decimals. Now let's look at order of operations in rational numbers. This order is important because if you don't go with correct order, you end up with a wrong answer. So please keep that in your mind. This is important and we have to go with the correct order. So I am sure you guys heard of PEMDAS. PEMDAS. And here P is for parentheses. E is for exponents, m is for multiplication, d is for division, a is for addition, and s is for subtraction. So it's easy to keep in mind this, you know, pandas. So please be careful with that. So after giving brief information about rational numbers, we are ready to solve some basic questions. Let's start then. This question is from 2017. I'm going to write PEMDAS here first. PEMDAS. So there are parentheses here, right? So parentheses comes first. That's why I am going to solve this, for, this part first. 1 over 2. 5 over 6 minus 2 over 3. There is a division and parentheses. So I need to solve this part first. 5 over 6 minus 2 over 3. To solve that, we need common denominators, right? That's why I am going to multiply 2 over 3 by 2 to get 6. So I'll have 5 over 6 minus 2 over 6 here. And this is 1 over 6, right? So my question is now 1 over 2 dividing by 1 over 6. There is a division here. Do you know how to solve it? Keep the first fraction the same, the same, 1 over 2. 
and then change division to multiplication and then flip the second fraction 1 over 6 flipping 6 over 1 now all we have to do is factor these fractions which is 6 over 2 so this part is 6 over 2 right so my question is now 1 over 4 plus 6 over 2 again we need common denominators to add them together so let's multiply 6 over 2 by 2 to get 4 1 over 4 plus 12 over 4 and that's the easiest part 13 over 4 is my answer this question is from 2015 and uh, look at this there is no parentheses but there are all other operations let's do multiplication and division first this part this and this solving division like i said we keep the first fraction the same so five and change division to multiplication times and then flip the second fraction so it's 4 over 5 minus 2 this is 3 times 4 is 12 plus again 3 times 2 over 1 right we can cancel this to 5 so I'll have 4 here minus 2 plus 12 plus 3 times 2 is 6 4 minus 2 is 2 plus this is 18 2 plus 18 is 20 and my answer is 20 this is from 2018 and there are parentheses and other operations I want to solve this part and this part separately and after that I am gonna use this subtraction okay 3 over 2 minus 5 over 4 so I need common denominators that's why I am going to multiply 3 over 2 by 2 6 over 4 minus 5 over 4 and the result is 1 over 4 so first part is 1 over 4 let's look at the second part 2 dividing by 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 minus 1 here there are parentheses multiplication division and subtraction right parentheses come first that's why 2 times 4 over 1 right this one times 1 over 4 minus 1 this is 8 times 1 over 4 minus 1 multiplication comes first that's why if I cancel them I'll have 2 minus 1 and the second result will be 1 so this part is 1 at the end I have 1 over 4 minus 1 my question is now like that 1 over 4 minus 1 1 I can write 1 is 1 over 1 right as a fraction so I need common denominators again that's why I am going to multiply 1 over 1 by 4 1 over 4 minus 4 over 4 right here 1 minus 4 over 4 and this is negative 3 over 4 which is my answer and this is B this is our last question and it's from 2015 so look at this let's write them as into an easier form okay hundreds 1 over 4 
is 100 plus 1 over 4. 200 1 over 3 is also 200 plus 1 over 3. 101 1 over 12 is 101 plus 1 over 12. Okay? So, 100 plus 1 over 4 minus 200 plus 1 over 3 plus 101 plus 1 over 12. There is a negative 1 here, right? So multiplying negative 1 with positive, it's going to be negative, right? So here 100 plus 1 over 4 minus 200 minus 1 over 3 plus 101 plus 1 over 12. 100, 200, 101. Let's add them together. 200 plus 101 plus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 12. This is 1 plus. Look at this. I need common denominators. That's why I am going to multiply 1 over 4 by 3 and 1 over 3 by 4 to get 12. It's 3 over 12 minus 4 over 12 plus 1 over 12. 1 plus 3 minus 4 plus 1 over 12. Look at this. This is 0. So 1 over 0, 1 plus 0 over 12. This is 0, you know. So my answer is 1 plus 0. The result is 1. And my answer is A. So we finished the first part of rational numbers in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a comment. See you at the second part of rational numbers video. Bye.